السلام عليكم جو مورن عبودي جو مورن جو سيرفي يو سان سو اي ام ذا فيرست اون اف اي سي ابريشيت ذس ثانك يو مستر اي ثينك مازن اسام از كومينج سون ا مستر وي شود ويت فور ذا Mm-hmm. Yes, we are waiting. السلام عليكم السلام ورحمة الله 
اوريو مستر عبد الله الحديث عبد الله الحديث اسم مستر عبد الله العنزي بوث اوف يو انتل اي اي ستارت ماي سيشن ناو وات ايفر كود هابن اوكي عبد الله العنزي ذس مسج يس يس بوث اوف يو اي ونت يو ايفن تو اسك يور سيلف واي ار يو ستاديين فيش What is the purpose? <clears throat> I want to show you one. Video. I want to show you now one video about my city. Okay. By this video, you will know why I love this field and why I made a kind of migration from my original place to that city, and I changed all my life there. I think by this you, I, I oh yeah, I'm just telling you that why I want you to study. What I'm giving you of topics deep and understand it more because this is may change all your life. You will feel interesting to it if you will feel that it is amazing to study this. I think you will change the rest of your life. Like what happened with me exactly? Let's watch this video. Okay, are you ready, Azuz? Are you ready? Uh, yes, yes, Mr. Are you ready? <coughs> Dating, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Good morning, Mazin. Welcome back. <clears throat> I just discussed with your friend, with your colleagues that I'll show them a short video about my city where I am living now, by, by understanding this video, you will know why I'm asking you, please understand every single information, every single detail I'm giving to you, because this could change the, the whole life of you. Because you know, I am from Mansoura, but now I live in Sharm Sheikh. And one city next to Sharm Sheikh is called Dahab. Why? What happened? Why? Because I found myself there, found what I studied there, what I studied in my college there. Mm -hmm. So I think by watching this video, something just you will at least you will understand what, why I am considering a sing, every single detail and subject what I'm teaching. Okay. Okay. Look here, first question you have to think about, Mona Muhammad Rafa. Look at the water, how clean and clear is it? Why? You have to think and ask yourself, why? Next. What kind of fish you see now? What are these kinds of fish? What is it? Thank you. 
<clears throat> I think this is, would be enough. Just, I'm trying to show you something. To know why I'm planning to give you a decision. The decision of today is about the diversity of today's fish. I'm speaking about the previous. Uh, extinct fish. I'm speaking about the today's fish. Uh, Muhammad Rafa, good morning. Are you here? Uh, your phone is working now or what's going on? Yes, it's finally working. <laughs> Congratulations. You watched that video? Yes, I was watching it with you. Yeah, it's so, so amazing. <clears throat> you know, I remember <clears throat> when I studied the marine life in the college, and the biodiversity in the, under the water. I immediately, I was, I think I was in the second stage of my college, second class. So I decided really to find myself, to find, to, I have to discover why I'm studying all this. Why? What is the reason I'm studying all this? So I took decision that I have to, it's not, it's not a migration, it's a kind of discovering. Because I see that, for example, here in the in case A, and this is something I want you really to change this habit. That uh, summer arrived, I, I have to travel somewhere. Why? Ah, oh, just for fun. What is fun? Nothing should be for fun. It should be for a bear run. Bear run is fun. You can enjoy this fun at home. You can enjoy this fun inside your inside your city, inside your country. So rotate the money inside your country to increase the income of your country. If you are traveling around, so you are helping the other countries. If you are going to Sharm el you are helping Egypt. If you are going to Malaysia, if you are going to Thailand, if you are going to America, if you are going to anywhere, to Europe. So you so are what, uh... supporting that country. So if you are planning to go to that country, you have to think, well, I ha where is the, what is the purpose? There must be a purpose for that. So Assalamualaikum. Good morning, Abdullah. <clears throat> out, of that fun, out of that fun, you have to think, well, I think I have to go and, for example, to go to, um, for example, to Milano. Why to Milano? Because Milano, it is on the Mediterranean. And there, the, for example, there are kind of fish. I want to go and see this kind of fish. So you have a bear run. There is, there is a target, you know. You, there is a goal. You want to come back from that country with the result. All that, you know, by the days, by the month, by the years, you will have amazing amount of knowledge. You know, practical knowledge. It is something practical. It is not just, you came there, you, took, you, you, you catch some picture to that place, to blah, blah. No, 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 no. It's not like this. You have to think well. So, somebody cannot think that you can for example, ask your dad that you want to make, for example, for example, okay, um, a trip in this summer to South Africa, for example. What? To Johannesburg? Yes. Why? It's a bit strange, my son. No, 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 I have a bear rose. What? I want to go and ask and search how these people, okay, are going and find the diamond, for example. Why diamond? So now here the questions, why diamond especially? Why, what, why, what, why, what? So you will find, so you are making research, you have a, a list of questions, you want to feel satisfied, you want to find the way of the answers of these questions. By this you will know why you are studying. I think now you are a man, I cannot say you are a uh, uh, little, little buzzer or something like that. Now, now you are a man who are responsible of everything you are doing. 
So please, I'm asking you, please think well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala supported you and your country that you have a wise king, a wise king here, you have <coughs> a wise prince here, you have a good a good uh, government here, and you have uh, uh, um, a good parents, you have uh, uh, alhamdulillah, whatever you want, your your family and your, your parents are, are ready to do it for you. What if you will tell your dad that you want to do this because of what I'm studying? I love this. I want to do this. I want to make investigation on this. Imagine what, how happy is your father? I'm speaking with you now, not as a teacher. I'm speaking with you now as a father. I'm waiting for that word from my son. Then I'll do and undo to fulfill what he wants to do. You got the idea now, all of you? I hope so. Okay. Now we're going on to, start to discuss and study the subject, uh, the lesson and the topic of today, what is speaking about diversity of today's fish. Um, like usually, there are some essential questions. What are the characteristics of different groups of fish? What are similarities and differences between the key feature of various types of fish? What key feature? This means that there is a key feature of various types of fish. Yes. What is this? We are going to discuss about it, about the lob finned fish and the ray finned fish. We will discuss this together. How is the evolution of fish explained? Okay. We have uh, adaptive radiation, this is an old word, we know it from long ago, and the tetrapod will go to discuss it together. The scientists have grouped fish into three classes based on their body structure, especially the jaws. That, that they have jaws? Yes or not? This is first. Then, the jaws made of what? This jaw made of what? Made of cartilage or made of bone? Depends on this. So there are fish, they are called the jawless fish. Means they don't have jaw. They have just teeth, okay? And a sharp tongue, okay? How it is looking like? Step by step, you will know everything now. Cartilaginous fish, they are made, the body bones are made of cartilage, they are not made of bone. So when you are eating, for example, the normal fish what you are eating, this like tuna, like uh, sherry, like whatever you are eating, this is made of, subhanAllah, its skeleton is made of bone, so it is a bony fish. Let's come and find, for example, uh, a fish like a shark, I think you could find it here in Lulu, okay, Lulu market. You would find it there. The, if you, when you are checking about it, it has not a real bone. It has just a, a, a centralized cartilage. Okay, so it is a cartilaginous skeleton, it's centralized. You get the idea? It is not a bone. This is why its movement is very smooth. It can move as, if, as, as, as it wants. So easy for it. Okay, now, the classes of fish. The jawless fish, we'll start with the jawless fish. Don't forget these two types, hagfish and lambiri. Hagfish and lambiri. About the hagfish and lambiri, and there is also eel. Eel, you know, in this video, what I show you, there is one region inside my city. It is called Eel Garden. We call it Eel Garden. Eel, it is a kind of fish. What about its body? Let's come to enjoy it. Eel like bodies that lack skin. Oh my God, so it doesn't have skin? No, it doesn't have skin. So it is like the worm? Yes, it is like the worm. Where is it here, sir? It is this one. You see it now? Is it clear for you? You see, it is looking like a worm. Yes. It is looking like a worm. You know, it has, uh, you know, um, when I'm making snorkeling or diving in my city with any customers, I am making what 
I am uh, 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 going to this eel garden, but from far side, from the depth to the shallow water. So when I'm doing that, subhanAllah, I see it, it is coming up from holes and the bottom of the, of the, of the, uh, of the sea, okay, coming up like this, subhanAllah, as if it's going up to brain. Subhanallah, it's looking like this. It's, then when it see us, it's deep in the, it's coming deep in the, in, in, in the, in the sand. In the, I mean, in the bottom of the, of the of the sea. So it is easy. Subhanallah, it is easy. If it's this, no no bone skeleton, this is facilitating its movement. But some of us can think, so this means it's not fish? No, it is fish. Why? Because it has gills. Aha. It has, uh -huh. you see, have gills and other characteristics of fish. This is why we are classifying it that it is a kind of fish. You got the idea? Yes, yes. Great. Yes, yes, Mr. Great. The hagfish. What about hagfish? Feed on soft budded invertebrates or dead fish. So it is eating the soft budded invertebrates. Like what? Like, for example, uh, soft bodies. This meaning that if there is a crab, it cannot eat it. If there is lobster, it cannot eat it. But if there is, for example, a sea cucumber, yes, it is soft body, it can eat it. If there is, for example, jellyfish, yes, it is easy to eat it, so it is eating it. You got the idea? They are known as producing large quantities of slim to escape predators. From slim to escape predators. SubhanAllah, just to be away. This is the hagfish. Then let's come to the main topic of today, which is called Lambiri. Lambiri is fish, it is, subhanAllah, so, so, so cute fish, but so, so, so dangerous fish. Can finish with a huge animal in a few days. Can you imagine? Can eat it in a few days. And this huge fish can, no, can do nothing. <clears throat> Cannot help itself at all. It's this one. This is Lambiri. What happened to this Lambiri? Subhanallah, you see, um, I have to magnify it a little bit. You see, this is its mouth. It's round mouth. It is round mouth. I'll try to draw it to make it easy for you. you know? Its mouth is round like this. Okay, and I have to clean it. Okay, and then it has teeth like this. Too much, too much teeth. Like this, and then some more here, some more rings here, then some more else here. Okay, then in center, in the center here, there is a centralized tongue, sharp tongue in the center here. So too much teeth around, as you see, then a centralized tongue here. So this teeth for what? To be hanged and attached to the victim. So if this one is the victim, okay, I, could, I couldn't see that it is um, a fish. No, no, it is a victim or it is, it, it is a victim because it's going to die. Because this fish is hung to it, attached to it, then it can never ever leave it until it is finishing with all what it needs of food. Then by this sharp tongue, it is digging, digging, digging and making hole. Then suckling the whole blood of this it's become, it became prey. Okay, it's not a predator. It became a prey. Despite it is a huge fish, it became a prey. And how is the predator here? It is, it is this lambiri. Then it is starting eating and suckling the blood and eating and enjoying, finishing and keeping hanged with it. Then eating again, then eating again, then eating again till this animal will die. Then it is finishing with its own. Subhanallah. You understand now? Yes. 
That's great. Okay, so lamellae are parasites, you see, parasites that attach to and feed on other fish. Clear? Great. Yes, clear. So now we finish with what? With the first kind of fish, which called jawless fish. Okay? Now we are moving to the cartilaginous fish. <clears throat> Attention, please. All cartilaginous fish have skeleton made of cartilage, as I told you. And I give you two examples. Shark and skate and ray. Skate fish and ray fish. Shark most have several rows of shark teeth. Like what? Like the first one, like Lambiri, what I told you. Several rows of shark teeth. Streamlined shape. Strong swimming muscle. Yeah, because most of the body are muscle. There, is, there are no bones or rough bones that carry this uh, muscle. No, it is directly. Muscles are supporting each other and they are just, you know, with um, just, they are just controlled by the cartilage, by the, this cartilaginous uh, skeleton. Blissoid scales. This is all what I want you to know because next year I think we are coming deep in this detail. I mean, the anatomy of this kind of shark and what are the types of shark uh, and how to work with the shark when you are face to face with the shark, how to, how to avoid its danger, how to play with, uh, with, its, with this shark, uh, I mean uh, about the behavior of the shark, how to study it, how to, how to work with it. I think the, all these things you need to know. Number two, skates and rays. And by the way, we have in my city, in, 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 in marine life, we have too much kinds of sharks, but most of it are not dangerous. Most of it are not dangerous. And we have many, uh, also so much of skates and rays. They are adapted for life on the bottom of the sea with flattened bodies and enlarged pectoral fins. They have enlarged pectoral fins, the tail. So, you know, I will try to draw it for you to recognize it. So if, um, just a moment, yes, this one is okay. Then I want to change the color. Okay, this is okay also. So it is looking like this, look. Looking like this, the fish is looking all and all like this. Then. This is the ray. We are, this for example is called manta ray fish. Yes, we, I know, I remember once I was making a snorkeling with a guest from Switzerland. Then when I came to the water, I was speaking with them and the shallow water and blah, blah, blah. Then I see that the, 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 you know, the bottom of the, the shallow water, what, what, it's, what, what it's looking like is entry. It just became, it's looking brownish, looking black. What, what hell is that? I'm, I'm really, I, will, I wasn't shocked. What is that? So I saw this fish close to the beach in this shallow water. It is, you know, like a big black carpet. It was about four meters across four meters. Then the tail. Can you imagine? So it's looking like four meters across four meters. Then the tail. How huge is this fish? SubhanAllah. Good idea. And this fish also is cartilaginous fish, by the way, to know. Is it clear? Yes. Abdullah Hadith, is it clear for you? Yes, it is. Yes, yes, Mr. Rudio. Yes, Mr. Rafa. Rafa, is it clear for you? 
Yes, Mr. It's clear for me. Great, great. Wonderful. Okay. Now let's come to check about the bunny fish. Bunny fish, most of the fish what you are eating is bunny fish. But they are two types. So <clears throat> the previous studies, what you studied, we, dis we divided the fish into two groups, cartilaginous fish and bony fish. And then now we are dividing it into three groups, jawless fish, cartilaginous fish, then bony fish. Now bony fish are two groups, two subclasses. The first one is called the ray fin fish. The second subclass is called the lobe fin fish. We want to know what is the difference between both. I think this picture show you the difference between both kinds of fish. The fish what you are eating of bony fish, it can be like this fish. Recognize it well. I think all of you are eating this fish, this fish especially. All of you. And this kind of fish. And this fish, I want you really to look at it more. Deep. Look, how big is this fish? Recognize this very well. You see it? Yes. Great. <clears throat> what I want you to know by this look of both fish, there is a big difference in shape, in the body shape of both fish. Let's come to read then if something is misunderstood, we'll come back to it. Let's speak about the first one, this. Uh, the most fish today are ray fin fish, this fish, with fins that are thin membranes supported by thin spine-like rays. Look at it, look at this fish, you see? has a spine you see the this fin is looking like a spine with a scale in between do you see it I have to... yes <clears throat> you see i try to show it to you line <clears throat> look here there's students you see this is a spine do you see it and there is a spine and there is a spine 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 spines you see it is a spine as if it is like a wing, a wing, yes or not? It is, it is this is a spines with a pieces with a, it is covered between each other, it is filled with what with scale, with of skin. Correct? Yes, I think it is clear for you all. This is first, okay? This is okay, no problem at all. Right. There are out. Wonderful. Okay. Only eight living species of lobfin fish which have muscle and jointed lobes for fins. And jointed lobes for fins. Only eight living species. When I'm saying eight living species does not mean that there are only eight kinds of fish no each species each one of these eight species contains a thousand of kinds of fish below it okay b lobe finned fishes may have been the ancestor of tetrapods the ancestor of tetrapods Tetrapods, by the way, they are a kind of extinct fish. I'll try to. Um, I want to show you something. We maybe facilitate this, but I want to finish with this first. Four-footed animals with legs that have feet and toys that have joints. So tetrapods, they are four. This is why we are calling tetra. Tetra here means four. <coughs> tetra means four. A uh, footed animal with legs 
that have feet and toys that have jointed. I think the next one here will show you and clarify it for you. Look at this one. This is a uh, this fish, especially it is a lob fish, lob fin fish. You see how many? It has too much fins around, too much. I see it's looking a bit strange. Look here at this picture. I want to magnify it. Yeah. <coughs> Look at it, it was ancestral amphibian, for example. <clears throat> Look at it, it has four legs. This is what, tetra, tetrapod. This is a tetrapod. By the time of adaptation, by the time of a development, of a development it changed and became a lobfin fish. Look at the similarities between both. Subhanallah, as if they are copy best with little modification that happened. I want, I don't want you to come to the ulnar and radius and shoulder and humerus and humerus and all these things. I don't want you to come during these details. Well, it's, uh, you will study it anyway next year, inshallah. So you see how they are similar to each other, subhanAllah. But this is ancestral amphibian. And this is a lobe fin fish. So the scientists thinking that this ancestral amphibian, it is this lobe fin fish. But the time modified it to stay in the water. I mean, here the, it has exactly uh, lungs for breathing. Here it has uh, gills for breathing. So they are thinking that by the time, by the way, it became like this. But to be honest, for me, I disagree with this idea. I disagree with this idea completely. Why? Because in my view, it is not like this. Subhanallah, if it is like this, uh, this is meaning uh, why the mammals, for example, like the whale, like the dolphin, didn't change this, uh, this, uh, their lungs to be, uh, to be uh, this gills, for example. Why? What happened? So, okay, this is the opinion of the scientists. We are respecting this so much, but this is something, and what we are discussing is something different. What, is, what you feel in your, rely, in your re reality is something different. Here you have to think and ask yourself, why not to make an investigation of this? Why not? Why not to search for this? So you can check exactly where you could find this fish, uh, maybe in Malaysia. Okay, I want to go to Malaysia. Maybe in Amazon, okay, I want to go to America to visit the Amazon and check about this kind of fish. Maybe in blah, blah, okay. So when anyway you are going abroad, you are leaving, you are going and traveling. So why not to touch maximum of benefit, maximum advantages that is helping you not to waste your life and your time like this. I hope that you got what I mean. Um, evolution of fish. Now we're going to start to discuss the evolution itself. Oh my god, the time is gonna be finished or what? Oh my god. <clears throat> evolution of fish. First fish, first jawless, toothless fish feed on yes. organic material from the ocean floor. Jawless fish, jawless filter feeder appear next in the fossil record. Okay, this is okay, no problem. In the age of fish, I don't want you to think too much about it because it is a bit hard for you. Let's come just to check about the habitat alteration. Um, fish are an important, an important source of food in the whole aquatic ecosystem. Dams and other obstruction interfere with migration in fish drastically reducing population size that is true that is really true you know just 
up to know that because uh, we have only two minutes. I want just to, to remind you that the dams, what you are doing, it is not allowing the fish to pass. This meaning no migration. This meaning many problems. This meaning something will be wrong in the ecology, the ecosystem here. You understand? That's what I'm discussing. About pollution, numbers of and diversities of fish decline when their habitats are polluted. This is true. This is, I think, this is logic point. When suitable conditions return, sometimes populations be found. And this is why, for example, in this marine uh, life, marine ecosystem, what we have, for example, in my city, you know, there are people from uh, the government, they are checking what kind of fish you are catching when you are fishing. So if you are taking small fish and you are not sending it back to the, to the water, it is, you have to pay big money. Only the big fish you can to give the chances for the small to be big, to keep the ecosystem. You got the idea? I hope that you understood the session of today. I hope it was interesting for you all and uh, thank you for uh, participating in this session. And inshallah, see you next. Thank you. Bye.